Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, overall, a pretty nice day. And if you have any outdoor activities um, next several hours, uh, weather looks okay. We're still over two and a half hours away from sunset. And we have kind of varying amounts of clouds and hazy sun right now. High temps today reaching uh, much like yesterday, lower 70s inland and 60s at the coastline, made it to 71 in Providence. I think we've got similar temperatures coming up for tomorrow, somewhere in that uh, 65 to 70 range uh, for tomorrow afternoon. Take a look at Narragansett with clouds and a little hazy sun. I do expect the sun to be coming out here very shortly. We're seeing some clearing uh, off to our west right now. Uh, out across uh, North Kingstown right now, it's a blend of both the uh, clouds and some sunshine with temperatures in the 60s. Warwick down at Oakland Beach now coming in at 61. Had some showers approach about an hour ago. Watch. That's it. Fizzled out. Had a couple of sprinkles in the northern part of the state. We are dry right now. You can see some clearing off to our west starting to work in. So some heavier clouds in southeastern Mass will be pulling away shortly. Tracking a second line, uh, an impressive line of showers and thunderstorms ahead of a cold front. Actually have our lightning tracker turned on. And now that we're in the spring and summer season, we'll be using more and more of this. But, you know, every bolt of lightning that strikes the ground automatically goes onto our weather map and goes right to your TV set at home. So this is these are real-time lightning strikes. Normally, I'd be a little concerned about this for this evening, though I do expect these to really kind of fizzle out and weaken as they approach around 9, 10 o'clock tonight. More than likely, won't be thunder, but just a few showers at that time. And then look at the nice, clear, dry air across the Great Lakes. All of this real estate back here belongs to us for Friday, and then things, unfortunately, going downhill uh, by Saturday. Getting real close, take a look at the forecast. Starting off this evening at around 7 o'clock, that cloud-sun mixture. Around, say, 9, 10 o'clock in the evening, a quick shower coming through and then clearing overnight. Here we are tomorrow morning. Just watch the time bar right up in here. This is 7 o'clock in the morning. Some sunshine starting off in the upper 50s. Mainly sunny comfortable day looks good you know by mid-afternoon upper 60s to briefly near 70 your friday evening friday night looks fine with dry and a comfortable condition so forecast for tomorrow morning plenty of sunshine pleasant dry starting off in the upper 50s and then during the afternoon with tons of sun uh, temperatures upper 60s maybe briefly near 70 unfortunately doesn't look good for saturday it is sharply cooler uh, a mix uh, actually uh, mainly cloudy skies with uh, showers and rain likely. There'll be a, a, a storm system or a weak wave of low pressure just to our south with a shield of cool rain. Temperatures may not even hit 60 on Saturday. Still feeling somewhat optimistic about uh, Mother's Day Sunday. Uh, it's not a perfect day, but it would be the drier and milder day. Uh, still some extra clouds, a lingering shower in the morning, drier in the afternoon, mostly cloudy, some partial sun, but temperatures mid 60s for daytime highs. So we think there's opportunities to get outdoors. It's not nearly as wet or as chilly as Saturday. And then here we go, warming up next week. We get temperatures in the 70s by midweek. Some scattered showers Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Upper 70s to low 80s. It'll feel more like summer the middle of uh, next week. Uh, not bad tonight and a, and a real pretty day coming up for tomorrow. All right, Tony, thanks. We have more